Hey, welcome everybody. This is John Roca, joined by Dorian Parks, and we are going to review the pilot of Doom Patrol. This was one that I was super looking forward to from the DC yep. Universe streaming service. We, uh, you know, Perry and uh, Vinny the Titans. We wanted to jump on this as quickly as possible. Dorian. Are you excited? Were you excited when this was announced? And, and are you excited? Were you excited after watching the pilot? Oh, for sure, because I, um, th- I've already, we already introduced to them in Titans, um, yeah. from their spinoff episode that they had. I think episode four or five, I believe. And I was already, I love the cast from that, so mm-hmm. it had me definitely hyped for when this show was going to come out. And when I actually watched the first episode, I was blown away. Yeah, I, man. I, because uh, because the thing about it is, I I love Titans and I love the first season of Titans, but it did take it a little while for it to find its footing mm-hmm. because at first it was like they were trying to not necessarily be a Netflix daredevil type show, but they right. were really trying to distinguish. It was a slow build. Yeah, yeah they yeah, were yeah. trying to say like, hey, this is not the CW shows. This is right. an adult. So they were trying to separate themselves. But episode three, four is like when they really started finding their footing and the Titans really started forming together. So from then on, it, it was really good for me. Mm-hmm. Or I, I loved it from the beginning. But with this show, it knows what it is right off the bat. Yeah. Like from the beginning, they just, you you you're, you bought into the world because it, it they introduced it so well. Yeah, I agree. It's so brilliant the way they bring all these characters together. You have Robot Man Negative Man, Elastigirl, and Crazy Jane, and of course, Dr. Niles called her quote-unquote, the chief in charge of them, Timothy Dalton, Brendan Fraser, so many great actors in this, and they all come together, and they get you going, yeah, Diana, I'm sorry, Diane Guerrero, Timothy Dalton, Joven Wade, April Balby, and Matt Bomber, they all come together, and of course, Alan Tudyk yeah. uh, as well, throw him in there, and I was really surprised, Dorian, how uh, sexually graphic, how mm. much, how many F-bombs there are, how many cuss words are throughout this whole thing, but but you know what? It felt like an old school approach to a new uh, 2019 show, and I liked it. I think it worked. The chemistry between the actors was great. The, the vulnerability of their stories was fantastic, mm-hmm. and you connected with them almost immediately. And when you know things that happen throughout the pilot, when they you know when they go into the town, finally you feel sympathy for them from the way it's built up. Yeah, that, you hit the nail on the head because they literally spent about. 40 minutes just introducing us to these characters. No, yeah. no, no story takes place in the present day with like the first 40 minutes of just introducing these characters one by mm-hmm. one and how their stories are slowly starting to weave together, not just, oh, this is the origin story. Now let's pick it up. No, right. like it took the time. There were there was of course a little a time jump, but it felt like right. earned, multiple like, years. Uh, yeah, yeah, like a progressive, slow earned time jump instead of just, yeah. okay, this all happened, let's jump now and show like what they're doing now. But it showed the build up, which I thought was fantastic. Like 40 minutes just fully fleshing out these characters yeah. because by the end of the first episode and I uh, don't watch this if uh no we're not, let's yeah. not do spoilers. We're not gonna do two spoilers. But yeah. um but Brandon Fraser's character like when, oh, when the revelations his character goes through throughout mm-hmm. it. Like I, I was thoroughly impressed with especially with his his voice acting. Yeah. It's, it's it's only like we don't see we see his r- real self uh right in flashback in flashbacks yeah, 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 but yeah. his his character as a robot. So it's really just him emoting it mm-hmm. and, and you still like feel simply s- sympathy for this robot man now mm-hmm. like all the stuff he's going through especially like what's happening with his family that's sad mm. but i was especially hurt when he was like um him and his interaction with uh, crazy jane yeah she was like i can't smoke i can't smoke uh i can't smoke weed <laughs> he's like, he's like I, I wish i could do something and then right. crazy jane tries to blow it in his face i thought that was hilarious but yeah, yeah. but yeah it's just him not being able to do all these things and when he finally takes that first step and you're like really rooting for his character yeah. so i thought he his voice portrayal acting and matt bomber's yeah matt bomber as well they're, they're both their voice acting i think that that's cool because it they're not there, but they're using mm-hmm. their voices. So the the acting across the board. Uh, but who I was r- really impressed with, yeah. Diane Diane Guerrero. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Her, yeah, yeah, her multiple personalities. Yeah, how they how she's able to just switch like that off the, and make it feel organic. Mm-hmm. I was really blown away with her because she's a, a great actress and loved her own Orange Is the New Black. Even though I did, uh, didn't keep up with the show <laughs> stopped after season but you two. enjoyed it when, yeah, from the time yeah, you yeah, saw well, yeah from yeah. the time I saw so she yeah. really impressed me with this and how they were the graphics with her especially with some yeah. of the scenes I was I was impressed I, I think this is a better foot forward than Titans was for, in agree. terms of pilot right this is a very distinct unique pilot it knows what it wants it knows what it's going for and also I think what's a gift here of this pilot is that you don't even have to know any of these characters to enjoy this story. You get it, this pilot rather, you get it. It's a superhero team coming together. You get their origin stories for each of the people. You connect to them because of the great actors that are involved in this. And then as they go on through, like like Dorian said, the time jump, You, when they start to come together to go do what they're going to do in the town, you start to feel it. And the narration from Alan Tudyk from the beginning to the end of this pilot episode is incredible. Yeah. And Timothy Dalton's so good. 
kind of feeling like the same character he played in Penny Dreadful when he was kind of in charge of all these people as they were going to have, you saw that Showtime show, as they were going to have to, they were going to. So it feels like something he's done before, very lived in. That man could still play James Bond. I was looking at it, I was going, man, wouldn't that be cool if he could come back and play an older James Bond? Would be fun to see. But overall, I think the writing, the directing, the, the cinematography, the scenes, yeah. the flow of the pilot – it, the greatest thing you can ask for at the end of a pilot, if you're watching it, is for you to go, oh my, I want to watch more. I want to binge this thing. And that is absolutely how I felt afterwards. Yeah, and we're going to, we we're gonna we can't talk about episode two yet, but I definitely yeah. want to do more of these shorter reviews of these episodes because yeah. this show is has really impressed me from the first two episodes we saw. I think mm -hmm. they, ca they know their audience and they know what, what this show is supposed to be about and what it's going to be about mm -hmm. moving forward in the future. And the, we can't talk about episode two, but I, I for people who have complaints about cyborg and his portrayal or whatever and how he looks i just say just wait and give it a chance because the, the way they he, he's introduced and the way his character flows mm. I, I i thought it was fine yeah the character designs they did i thought were really well done with all the costumes and the outfits and the way they looked a thousand percent on board so i look forward to see what they can do with cyborg all right that's our review of the pilot for doom patrol on the dc universe streaming service can't encourage you enough i think both i think i speak for dorian and saying can't encourage you enough to check this one out see what you think see if it grabs you and then you go forward because it's a unique off off a kilter type of show but it works so well don't you agree yeah yes sir i'd give it five for five there you go five for five all right you can find dorian at where uh you can find me on twitter at dorian parks and rec because parks and rec is better than the office but also make sure to watch brooklyn 99 <laughs> and you can find me on instagram at dorian parks there you can find me at the roca says on twitter and on instagram and look for more of these reviews of this season as it goes along here on the tv talk feed take care everybody